Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The leading conglomerate JSW Group has entered into defense sector and has acquired a major stake in the extreme off-road vehicle company called Geco Motors Private Limited. Its vertical that is JSW Defense and Aerospace has bought the stake in the company that has been now renamed as JSW Geco Motors Private Limited or in short JSW Geco. As per the press release of JSW Geco, it has secured an order worth rupees 250 crore from Defense Ministry for the manufacture and supply of 96 specialist mobility vehicles branded as a tour and 1200. The vehicle is being manufactured by JSW Keiko's newly set up manufacturing unit in Chandigarh, Punjab and it will supply to armed forces by June 2024. In July 2024, Indian Army has issued the request for proposal that is RFP for procurement of 24 more units of the Ator ATV from JSW Keiko Motors Private Limited. The Ator N1200 is an indigenized version of Sherp N1200 amphibious extreme mobility vehicle designed by UK-based Copato Limited. Copato has entered into a joint venture pact with JSW Defense and JSW Keiko along with Technology Supply License Agreement for the manufacture of specialist mobility vehicles in India. Talking about the Ator's capability, it is an all-terrain 4x4 wheel drive vehicle and it's a true go-anywhere vehicle. Be it dense forest, shaky grounds, gravel, peat, marsh, swamps, snow, ice, lake or river, the ATV can drive everywhere. A tour is based on a load frame made entirely of high-strength steel which can resist deformation of up to 1000 megapascal which makes it virtually indestructible. The vehicle's frame has a flat bottom to skid over obstacles and resist bashes. Its all parts have zinc coating and it is claimed to extend service life by 30 years. Talking about its dimension, a tour is 3.984 meter long, 2.57 meter wide and has a height of 2.846 meter. It has massive tires, having height of nearly 1.8 meter, which contributes more than half the height of ATV. Its massive wheel allows it to tackle and climb obstacles and paddle it over swamps and water bodies. A tour can reach a top speed of 40 km per hour on land and up to 6 km per hour on water. The vehicle weighs 2400 kg and has a 1200 kg payload and can tow a further 2350 kilograms. It can accommodate up to 8 passengers in addition to the driver. The vehicle is powered by a compact 3-cylinder 1.5-litre engine which is extremely reliable and can operate from minus 40 degrees to plus 40 degrees. It can generate maximum power of 55 bhp and maximum torque of 190 newton meter. It also features a Renault sourced 6 speed manual transmission. It has 95 litre main tank plus 4 fuel canisters of 58 litres each, giving it a total capacity of 232 litres and an operating range of nearly 61 hours. A tour has ground clearance of 600 mm. However, no water wading depth is quoted for this ATV because it floats. It's truly amphibious. The tires of ATV serves as a flotation device and their prominent ribs work as pedals to swim through rivers, ponds, marshes and swamps. A tour also does not get any suspension as its tires soaks up all the bumps. You will be surprised to know that the driver cabin does not have steering wheel. Instead, it has two levers which controls left and right wheels. This type of steering is called skid steering which is commonly seen in the construction machines. The lever acts as both steering and brakes. Looking at the build quality and design, it's very clear that a tour and 1200 is a true go anywhere ATV. Indian Army is in dire need of such ATVs because they operate in difficult terrains of high altitude mountainous region of LSE and desert. 
the acquisition of such ATV will significantly boost the logistic capability of Indian Army. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.